Hi friends, welcome to my channel MedTime with Dr. Munir Jan. Today I will be discussing about basic maneuvers of airway. How you can open the airway when there is an airway obstruction, especially as a result of tongue falling to the posterior pharyngeal wall. So I will be focusing in this situation how you can open the airway in a situation where there is a tongue falling to the posterior pharyngeal wall leading to airway obstruction. So there are basic maneuvers of airway that each and every medical student, especially technicians, para, uh, you know, clinical staff, all should learn about the basics of airway or basic maneuvers of airway, how we can open in a situation where there is airway obstruction as a result of tongue fall leading to the airway obstruction. Now, first important maneuver I just want to discuss with you is the head tilt and chin lift. Now, head tilt and chin lift, it can be done in a situation where there is airway obstruction, but you have excluded that there is no cervical spine injury. Okay. So if you suspect a patient having cervical spine injury or if there is a proven cervical spine injury, please don't do this maneuver. Okay. So if you have excluded, okay, cervical spine is okay. Now how you can do this maneuver, I will be demonstrating in this video. So just watch this video, then I will be discussing certain things that is important. Now, you can clearly see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do the head tilt with one hand. I'm keeping my palmar surface of one hand at the forehead and doing the head tilt. And at the same time with the index finger and the middle finger, keeping them at the mentum and pulling the mandible upward. Okay. Now what is an idea why we have to do this? By head tilt you just want to align the airway and at the same time with your index finger and with your middle finger you are lifting the chin up. By this you are trying to lift the tongue away from the posterior pharyngeal wall. Now as I said I will be focusing on the issue where there is an obstruction as a result of tongue falling to the posterior pharyngeal wall. So you are trying to lift the jaw lift this chin up with index finger and with the thumb keeping them at the mentum pulling the chin up and with this you are trying to lift the tongue away from the posterior pharyngeal wall so this is how we can do the head tilt chin lift maneuver but keep in mind that you have excluded the cervical spine injury now moving to the other maneuver that is the jaw thrust. In a situation where you suspect or there is a proven case of cervical spine injury, what else you can do? How you can open the airway in those situations? So you can simply do the jaw thrust maneuver. So I will be showing you video where I am doing the jaw thrust just observe it. Now, if you watch this video, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep my this middle finger and index finger at the angle of the jaw with both hands, keeping this middle finger and index finger at the angle of the jaw and trying to displace this mandible forward. So with displacing this mandible forward, I'm trying to move the tongue anterior. By that, it will be lifted away from the posterior pharyngeal wall. Now, what is the base, what I'm trying to show is you have to keep these fingers at the angle and rest your palmar surface has to be at the occipitoparietal area. Okay, so you can clearly see this video. I'm trying to move the jaw forward and you are trying to open the airway. 
Now, one thing just I want to focus when you are doing the jaw thrust, you have to make sure that you are keeping the neck in the neutral position. Now, if you are doing the jaw thrust in an extended head, uh, what 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 will be the I mean, uh, what will be the advantage? So make sure whenever you are doing this, you have to keep the neck in the neutral position. Now there is one more version that is what I, you know, what is known as the modified. Now what is modified? You can see by this video. At the same time, when I am trying to lift, I am trying to displace this mandible forward. I am trying to open the, you know, uh, mouth with my thumb by using the force to the jawbone. I am trying to open the thumb. I mean, mouth. So this is what is known as the modified jaw thrust so these are two maneuvers we can do in a situation where there is airway obstruction as a result of tongue falling to the posterior pharyngeal wall so one is head tilt chin lift and other is the jaw thrust and also i showed you the modified jaw thrust i hope this video will be useful and uh, you will like this video and uh, by in my upcoming video i will try to show you how we can do properly how you can do mask ventilation so thank you thanks for watching